Here with former WEC featherweight champion Mike Brown, came off a win over Anthony Morrison. How good does it feel to get that rebound? I needed it, man. It's just good to get a, a fight in between me and the loss, you know. Put the loss behind me, keep winning fights, and that's what I want to do. More space, the better. So you'll be able to sleep tonight? Ah, I'll be able to, well, I don't know. <laughs> Because uh, the flight's early, I gotta I think I gotta get, be in the lobby at 5:30 in the morning, so I won't, probably won't sleep tonight. But I'll be sleeping tomorrow night. You, you mentioned you wanted a uh, post fight that you wanted to see how Sun Xiao and Faber played out. Uh, what did you think of the fight? Amazing fight, man! I know uh, both guys are great. Both are ranked. You know, we're top five in the world probably in, in uh, the featherweight division. So they put an amazing show, and I was impressed, man. Rafael's no joke, and it's uh, it was impressive how your eye put him away. Being that you wanted to get back in the cage very soon, is that something you still want to do? Do you want to fight uh, really soon again? Yeah, man, I'm busy. I'm healthy. Why not? This is my job. You know, if you're healthy and you're, you're, uh, you're able to work, let's go to work. Worst case scenario, you know, should, should you get to the title again and, and uh, lose, where are you going to go from there? If I get back to the title and lose? No, I'm saying if you, you know, come up short in a title fight. If I fight again for the title and don't win? Well, who the hell knows, man? That's a long way down the road. But uh, if that happens, then you know you go back and try to win some more fights and get back in the title shot. You know that's that's how the game is. You know, but uh, that's a long ways away from you know getting the title shot and then fight again and then you know you just keep keep training, keep going, and keep keep trying to win. Uh, you talked about you know trying to come back out there and really take it to them as opposed to grinding uh, in the po in the pre-fight interviews. Is that something? You're gonna change, you know, going forward in your career. That's how I always was, man. I was always aggressive and and trying to finish guys in the first round. And you know, I got a lot of first round finishes, you know. And uh, I think my last couple fights, uh, especially for five rounders, I think I paced a little bit too much. You know, I was trying to, you know, pace for a five rounder. You know, anticipating this might go 25 minutes. Now I'm trying to go, hey, this one's gonna be over within five. That's how I'm trying to look at things. And what kind of mental adjustments did you have to make in order to, to reach that point where you're going to come in and, and really get after it? Well, I mean, it was easy because I lost. So, you know, whenever you come off a loss, you, you got to make changes. If you're winning, it's you're not certain what to do because if, if it's working, it's working. But when you lose, you're like, ah, I got to make changes. So uh, part of one of the flaws I thought in my game plan was uh, I paced a little too much in that first round with, with uh, Aldo and, and he capitalized and made me pay. Uh, what's next for Mike Brown going forward? I don't know, man. I just want to stay busy, and uh, it's up to Sean Shelby, and and uh, we'll see what he ha has in mind. Uh, this was a little different from last time because Sacramento was behind you as opposed to booing you. How did that, how did that feel? You know, having their support uh, before and after the fight. Man, it was really nice, man. It really it touched me, man. I like I uh, I'm a passionate fighter, and and just the fact that the that I actually have some fans, man, is pretty cool. And you came down and you were signing autographs and, and interacting with the fans. How much does that mean to you to have that direct interaction w with everyone, uh, especially in a town where, you know, they were hostile toward you before? It's a wild dream, man. I never expected this. You know, it's pretty cool to have people interested in you. Like, hey, man, hey, you want to get a picture, you want to get an autograph. Why? You know, it's, it's just me, man. It's, it's pretty cool to have somebody uh, that interested in you. Uh, aside from fighting, what's the most interesting thing about Mike Thomas Brown? Besides from fighting, man, I, I, I don't know. I got adult Heelys. That's kind of interesting. You know, the Heely shoes that the kids wear that you can, like, skate on? I have a pair of those. Not many adults have those. They make them in my size. Thank you so much, Mike Brown. All right, thanks.